So you're trying to figure out the ways to level up fast here for series five. A lot of it's gonna be pretty similar to what we've had previously. So let's jump into all the best options as we go through the new series changeover. What's good, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto. So here we are again with some level up ideas, theories, and options here for you. So I'm gonna go over some of the best options to leveling up here in series five. I'm gonna go over the three best ones that I like in particular and why I like them in particular. But before I jump into all that, just want to let you know if you are new here, I appreciate you for stopping by. If you'd be so kind as to hit the subscribe button down below, notification bell right next to so you get notified anytime I'm live with brand new content. Also, if you like this video, if you like this tip, if you like this idea thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and in the comment section down below let me know if there's a solo i'm missing that you think might work better for this let's jump on in so there are some new solo crops that came out i know in particular super bowl past has some pretty decent situational ones but there's nothing here in particular that i was looking at as far as i saw where there was something where you don't have to win the game, right? Win the game is cool, but it involves a celebration. It involves a whole bunch of stuff. You win the Super Bowl, it's a whole pomp and circumstance type deal. We don't wanna worry about that, all right? So what we wanna do is focus on the easy stuff, the stuff that gets us done really quick. Now, something that is tried and true that I've, I just, I do this solo all the time when I'm just not doing anything, when I'm editing videos, when I'm watching people on the YouTubes or the Twitches, anything i'm doing busy work throughout the day right here october 31st 1971 jack youngblood return to kick 22 plus yards this play this is legit the most brain dead solo in the history of the world all you have to do is press a on return middle and let the computer do the rest for you i am not controlling the game at all this is the game going it is not pre-recorded i wish so i didn't have to keep doing this all the time but it is not pre-recorded and challenge is completed all you gotta do is go down twice to replay a once a twice a third time and a a fourth time that's all you got to do every time to replay the challenge you don't have to do anything else sometimes it might screw up and might get you like 19 yards or whatever a little bit short of the objective but point being is that it's the same deal every time so jack youngblood solo tried and true one it works it's just it's a brain dead solo right you don't get really major objectives out of this outside of scoring like kick return touchdowns i don't even think that's an objective um you don't get like kick return yards or anything like that so jack young blood solo there is just for the brainless it's just so if you don't want to do anything involving anything to do here so that's young blood we're gonna hit return to challenges here and we're just gonna rack up the xp as you see and i've tested these before these three are the best three in my opinion i know that some of people have other ideas out there but this these three are the best three solos for leveling up so that's the one that's completely brainless dead you don't have to do anything all you have to do is press a a couple times and boom you're there the next one i want to go over is in right or i'm sorry it's not rivals it's level challenges here so level challenges level challenges level seven you want to go to quick off the line and this one's a running one so this one can help you with running the ball if you want to get rushing yard objectives or if you want to do other things involving the rushing the ball okay so this one is performed five ball carrier moves in seven plays now the trick with this one is with rushing the ball Ball carrier moves can be anything. It could be a subtle, you know, little juke, that little juke move. It could be a spin, a leap. But in this one in particular, we're just focusing on A for stiff arm or X on PlayStation, okay? So what you wanna do here is hike the ball to the running back and just spam A. I'm spamming A, I'm just spamming A because once you do that, there it is it's done so what you want to do here though and keep in mind here for these offensive plays is you see right here and i am on next gen you see right here you're going to double tap and you're going to choose no huddle okay choose no huddle and what i like to do as well is choose an outside handoff i'll do halfback stretch with my guy ricky and we're just going to double the edge guy there mike the linebacker but you don't even have to do all that it's one star you can hike the ball and then you're going to spam a spam a spam a and then you just go down if you want to run for the first go ahead but just spam a five times and then there you go the challenge is done and that's it so what we're going to do then is hike it again and look at that no huddles loads us right in what you could do as well is run backwards right run backwards make sure you get the thing done because you still get credit for getting the solo done even if you don't run for positive yards, okay? So keep that in mind as well. You can run backwards. You don't have to devote all your time running straight ahead and getting it all done. But as you see right there, we're getting it done and there's five, 
spammed out there for you with Ricky Williams running out. So once we get that done there, all we're gonna do is hit replay every time. Make sure you don't run out of bounds, by the way, because it resets your no huddle. So you wanna go down and reset and redo double tap or whatever the switches on old gen for no huddle. Right here, Josh Allen is gonna hike it to Ricky Williams again. We're just gonna spam A. I'm gonna go down inbounds. Again, don't go out of bounds. It resets the no huddle. So keep that in mind, but we're just gonna do it one more time here just to show how quick it is to restart. You know, again, you don't have to double up. You don't have to mic. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Just find the open hole and just spam A. And then you're going to go down. It's really brainless. It's really easy. That's it for that one. The last one we're going to touch on is a passing one. And I'm sure people know this one already. It's really, really easy. This one is not that hard to do at all. Then we're going to go ahead and show it. It's also up in the Rivals Challenges there. Um, back to where we were previously, that quarterfinals challenges. If anything, the Rivals was good for giving us spammy solos that we can do. Um, so you're going to go over here, quarterfinals challengers. Instead of three, you're going to go down to five. And you're going to go gain 50 yards this drive, one star on easy, play the solo. Solo, and this one is tried and true to work every single time. There's just a little, some things you got to note here, okay? So this one is probably the best one out of all of them just because it gives you yards, just because it gives you, um, it's more fun to do probably. It's the most involved one. But right here, the first thing again, for all these offensive ones, you want to double tap and make sure you're on no huddle, okay? Make sure your tempo is no huddle. And then what you want to do for your play type is you want to just pick like the one is, um, I, in my playbook in particular is four verticals. It could be four verts in yours, whatever the play may be. But the one thing you do want to note here is look at the sidelines above, right? Above me. On this side, it's all blue, giant sideline. On the right side, it's all red, opponent sideline. So what you want to do there, and you see Tyree Kill on the right, maybe put your fast guy as wide receiver two, put Tyree Kill there on a streak, me in particular, and I'm going to catch the ball and I'm going to go down right here as close as I can to the sideline without going out of bounds before the 35 yard line. I don't know if it's a 35 or the 30, but in testing, we've tried it out. And as you can see right here, Tyree Kill goes down. You don't get the celebration. You restart it right away. Tyree Kill again gets it. Now I'm going to go down close to the 30 doesn't celebrate as well. So I think you might be good up to the 20. So keep that in mind there. You wanna go down probably right before the 30 yard line and you wanna throw the ball not on your sideline because he celebrates. Now watch with Sterling Shepard here. We'll throw with Sterling Shepard and we'll try to catch it and he gets it and he's gonna to wanna to celebrate, but you don't get all the yards there either on that one play. So that's probably not a great idea. But again here, if I go to Moss and he catches it and I go down right there, Sometimes he celebrates if you get too close to the line. So keep that in mind there if he gets too close, okay? So what you wanna do instead is you wanna make sure you got Tyree Kill over there on the right side, wide open. And right here, I had to reset my play because I was a little short, but we're probably gonna reset, go out of bounds just to reset the play call. But right there with Tyreek, you're gonna catch it again. And you're gonna wanna see, let's see how close I get here. Let's maybe go down to the 20. No celebration still, even at the 20 close to the end zone. All right, cool. So it looks it looks pretty solid there. So we're gonna keep trying this out. And again, guys, this, this is just so easy, right? You're gonna go ahead with Josh Allen. I'd like to pump fake it a little bit, give him some space there. See if we can get a little glitchy. And we catch the ball with Tyreek. See if I can get close to, uh, within the 20 there is a celebration. So don't do that. Don't go within the 20. Don't do it. And right before the 20. Stop right before the 20, all right? So we don't have a safety over top right in the middle. There's cover one over top there. So we're going to go ahead and bomb it with Tyreek once again. He's going to catch the ball. We're haul hauling it in. We're going down right there at the 35, right before the 30. Usually that's where I like to go down is the 30 right before the uh, right before the 30, around the 35 there again. So we're going to show you again with Tyreek Hill. He's all the way on the right side. We're going to go ahead and bomb it out to him one more time. Pause it in and we're going to go down right there at the 30 and that should be it. That should be all she wrote. So as we see, as we progress, go back to return to challenges here and we'll map it out and see what we get as far as the bonuses for this one in particular. Again, you don't have to score a touchdown, just go down, right? So this one's giving you at least 70 every time. This was the, probably the best one, just the amount of XP it gives you uh, combined with the, how quick it is to do. It's going to give you 70 X time. The other, the other twos give you like 50 each time. So that's probably the best one to do. So that's good for the challenges for leveling up. Those are the three best options in my opinion. We've done a spreadsheet and broke down the stats in the past, but some of you care, some of you don't. You just wanna know what the good eats are for this one. So we showed you all the good options. Now it's time for you to chow down and enjoy it. We'll catch you all next time. Peace out.